Hey guys, Red Lama here. So in today's video, we're going to Flash 1660 Supers. Flashing your card could brick your card. And if you guys don't know what breaking is, it could just make your card not usable. It won't work. So please do this tutorial or follow this tutorial at your own risk because I only have three different cards I tried this with. They all work fine. Um, but you guys should do your own research and see if I have the same cards as you or see if other people with the same cards have done it and work successful. We can take this from the very beginning and and see how things move forward uh, for those who want to do this. So I do have a few different cards I want to try this with. A MSI 1660 Super on this rig and then on this rig over here I have a bunch of other ones, PMY, Zotac and another Zotac, but this Zotac is a Samsung memory, so we can only really do it with these four cards here. So let's take it from the very beginning. What we have to do, first step, we have to update the miner. Do this now. All right, so now the miner is updated. Next, what we wanna do is we wanna go turn off anything that has anything to do with Watchdog, turn off Watchdog. We go over here to Worker Options, Maintenance Mode. We can go here and Load with Drivers. And apply, and it's gonna say, for the changes to take effect, you must restart the worker. All right, so the rig has started, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the flight sheet, and we're gonna unset the flight sheet Go back to overview and we're going to see that there is no flight sheet on this rig now so i don't want anything running in this on this rig now what i can do is i i can go back to the farm it's offline maintenance mode and now we can click on cards we can filter this out through a certain gpu we're going to go online cards and this is the one we're looking at a little long enough. We're going to download it again. Save the BIOS storage download. Now we can open up the farm. And this should be pretty quick to do. Like hit refresh. And it should show up over here that it is downloading the driver also over here. All right, there we go. It finished. So the way to confirm this is if you go to vBIOS, it's listed here. And then now I can go back to the cards. If I want to even do more of a backup, I can click on here and I'll save it to my, my drive. So there you go. It's saving it. Now, probably best practice would be to number this and then number the card directly on a card, like put a sharpie on it or something. This way later on, if you ever move it to a different rig, that number would match this file here. So now what we can do is we can select the vBIOS. Now I have two of them ready here that I downloaded, but if you were looking to add one of your own, you can go here to add vBIOS and you have to choose the file location where that file is and select the name and description. These are very important so you know what they are later on. And the best way or best location to get this is the Misfit Mining Discord. All right, so here it is. This is the Misfit Mining Discord. There's a channel here, uh, Hynix BIOS Downloads. And these were, were the ones I downloaded. And I believe uh, this is probably the best bet for you guys to avoid getting any type of malware or something like that. So I suggest you guys go to this location. I'll put a link in the description on where to get this. And now, since I already have it in here, let's go back to the cards. Let's select the VIOS. Reboot after flash. Force the flashing. Ignore security checks. And then select the BIOS, which is 
I'm gonna choose the PMY flash here. And then I'm gonna click on flash cards. Now there's not there's not gonna be any dialogue here. But on the minor it's gonna show that on the rig itself. Alright, and there we go. I flashed it. I want to change the overclocks on this so it doesn't crash later on. So we're going to change the overclocks to the following. We're going to change this to 1100 and this to 3000. And then this, I'm going to just take this out for now. Hit apply. And then next, I am going to take this off, disable it, hit apply. Next, after this, I'm going to reboot it. Alright, so it has rebooted. Now we're going to set the minor, or set the flight sheet. And there we go. It is now going up to 37.08 mega hash on this 60, 1660 Super. It was a MSI, but now it's showing as just NVIDIA. And uh, there you go. <laughs> Now, uh, oh, they crashed. Not sure what's going on. I think it might just be my overclocks. I probably pushed it too high. Found out that these overclocks are a bit more stable than before. I had about 3,000 on the memory. Great. Jumped up to 37 mega hash, but definitely not sustainable. And I brought it back down to 2,600 to make sure that it stays stable. And it's been running for a bit. I think it's going to be more stable at this overclock than what it had previously. This MSI, or now it's called the NVIDIA card, um, was repadded. And uh, it seems to be doing better. It's kind of strange I had to repad a 1660 Super because those really don't generate that much heat on the VRAM, but for some reason. When I got the card, it was over a year old, so I guess it was just used and abused, but uh, I don't think that that should be it. Maybe it's just, just because it's an MSI, but all right, before I end the video, I want to just highlight one little thing, just in case you guys ever need to reflash this with the original driver. So you do have these stored in your location here. You can download them, each one. That you already downloaded off the, the drive or off the, the card but let's say you get in a situation where you have a rig that goes down and you put this card onto a different rig it's gonna be difficult to figure out which card is which on a new rig so I suggest you guys download them all mark on the actual card a, a number any generic number and then when you create or once you save this file, you save it to a location where, if you ever need to, these match up with the BIOS itself. So I saved uh, a bunch of PMYs here, I have three only, and I can click here and I'll see the driver here, the original driver. So if I ever need to go back or revert to the original driver, it's here. Uh, I don't need to worry about losing all of this. Uh, and I'm actually going to be backing up this drive or this um, vBIOS uh, folder I have just in case I ever, if I ever need to revert back. Uh, the reason you would want to go re revert back is if you ever need to RMA this card in the future. And I suggest all of you guys uh, to do this. Alright guys, so <laughs> finally got working. Was, this was the trick here right there, maintenance mode, and I can't take all the credit for this. I actually reached out, talked to other people, and I ended up stumbling upon this video here. It's by a user named Robitz. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but he seems to be uh, on top of it. So I, uh, yeah, this his video actually helped me out, figured that out. So. He was the one I pointed out this maintenance mode, so if anyone else has got the same issue, 
and they found my video useful, so I can't take credit for it. This this other person had uh, done it before. But yeah, there you go guys. So after I tried this with the MSI, I tried this with a PMY, a Zotac, and two more PMYs. And I use the same driver for all four of these cards and they work out pretty well. I'm using slightly little different uh, overclocks, but they are hashing almost to 36 mega hash. Please hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.